Hello and welcome. In today's video we are going to talk about the mini split system that I got for this 720 square feet uh, new construction house. So this is an absolutely ductless system so there will be no duct work and this is one out of the three cassettes that are going to serve this house. So this uh, price for this just to get to the point as I usually like to do is was 6225 bucks. And just for comparison's sake, a traditional system with ductwork would have been about 4500 bucks. if you're curious. And that's usually what I pay for my homes. But this time I wanted to do a mini split. And this, uh, it's, that's the reason why it was 6200 bucks. Those are a little bit more costier. Um, how it turned out, I'm still not decided to be honest. There's certain things that just don't sit right with me. But maybe eventually I'll get over it. Uh, the first thing here is how they pinch themselves in a corner, the installers. I don't know what possessed them to put that, everything in a corner like that and it's going to be hard to work at it. And on the outside, this is how it looks. So they just chopped up a hole with a sawzall, messed up my trim on the right side over there instead of uh, cutting a nice round hole. So I don't know if they were missing the equipment or what was going on. And this is all the cables. We're going to flop, by the way, between uh, two days of work. And this is how it looks. The drain is installed and still the trim is not fixed, which I told them to fix it. And that hole just bothers me and how this looks just bothers me, but maybe I'll get over it. But so far, I'm not impressed with the craftsmanship of this job. Look at that room that they had to the left. Switch it over two feet and, and it's not an issue. So that's what I was talking about, 6225. It has a C rating of 19, which is very good. That BTU rating, which I got on the paperwork, seemed a little high. It should be lower than that. But I'll, I'll iron all that out once I review the paperwork with, uh, with the owner of the company. So this should be very nicely efficient. It's the, the, the benefit of a mini split system, a ductless system, is that your utility bills are a lot lower because that system is more efficient and you can heat and cool your rooms individually and you can have uh, the whole house pretty much the rooms each can have individual heating or cooling temperatures so if you're sleeping at night or if you're hanging out in one area of the house you don't have to heat and cool the whole house to the same temperature which basically is more efficient it's a more modular or more custom kind of way of heating and cooling a house so that's that kind of approach to heating and cooling and that's one of the reasons why it's more efficient that's the drain pipe which they decided to go with PVC pipes later on so there's some interesting things with this whole job uh, this was not connected which took takes a second and I'll talk about that in a future episode but I ended up doing this myself uh, connecting that because they flat out forgot but like I said, I'll talk about that in a future episode, and that's where it uh, where it vents out the gable on the other side. So this is the other day we're kind of flopping back and forth between two days, um, just different little same thing. It's just another day of work. Um, that's just me trying to I don't know. It's just me being stupid and try to bring some sanity to my head and do something weird. Because, like I said, I wasn't feeling very good about them messing up my trim and that whole corner piece of the brand new house that was just put together and it was all tore up and looked like somebody took an axe to it. So that's the vent that's going to get out the gable, put out eventually. That bathtub is in, in that little bathroom. And then also, if you notice here, that bath bathtub was mounted by the plumbers in that bathroom. Just so you have an idea how that looks. So like I said, this is another day where the plumbers also came out and did what they did. And I love those guys. The plumbers are absolutely freaking awesome. And so is the electrician. The R15 is what I'm going to be using in the walls. And then R38 is going to be in the, ce in, the, in the ceilings and then also the rafters. So that's the master bedroom unit. And this has, um, it blows air on all four sides. So it's going to blow air into that bathroom right there. And also that bathroom has a unit that heats for the winter time. And this is what I saw recently. And I'm like, 
Is that a real thing where people make the brooms stand up on their own and it looks like witchcraft? And sure enough, it's a real thing. So I did it for you, so you have an idea how that looks. A broom is just floating or standing on its own. Um, so that's the whole plumbing situation that you can see here. That's the bathroom, the master bathroom. That's where the washer dryer is going to be the stackable kind and the water heater is going to be right there. And this is the what we're pending to is the heating unit for that bathroom. And the other bathroom has that as well. See this one is connected because uh, this one was connected by my framer. He said hell I'll just do it for you. Don't charge you a dime for that and just piece of cake and that's why I love that guy. He's really, really good. And see, this is the walk-in shower that I put in the master. So one bathtub and one walk-in shower in this house. So the next episode will be installation. And you guys will finally see me do some work. And then from then on, it's going to be more of me showing up in the videos and just doing uh, random things and doing work. And this is just the cleaned up look of the electricians, what they did the other day and my 2x12 rafters that you're seeing there and the can lights in the ceilings and my R38 that you can see right there insulation so this house will be nice and energy efficient hopefully that whole heating and air system goes the install goes well and and it should be a nice very efficient house and this is the the vault that you're looking at and it's a 412 pitch in this house and like I said, the insulation will be next. So I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.